I was canvassing the other night in Nina and a, a man came out to me with tears in his eyes. His 87 year old mother, who worked all her life in Nina Hospital, was lying on a trolley in Nina Hospital. Ireland has gotten a bad deal, generation after generation, election after election from government. Tipperary has gotten a bad deal. Not only are patients lying on trolleys in Limerick Hospital, but they're also lying in trolleys in Ennis and Nina, where they're now shoving patients out before they even get to a trolley in Limerick. These figures do not show up in hospital trolley numbers. This election is a moment in which we make big, big choices. Choices about how we invest in public services. Choices around the kind of services that our towns and villages and countryside enjoy. As a candidate for the last general election, all candidates were asked to sign a petition to retain 24-hour a &E and Nina, the intensive care unit. And it was signed by Anne and Kelly who led the crowd in Nina, led 5,000 people around the streets in Nina, uh, claiming that he was going to uh, retain accident and emergency services in Nina and the Irish intensive care unit. After he got elected, he did a massive U-turn. He allowed for uh, Nina a and &E to close the 24-hour unit and also the intensive care unit to be transferred to Limerick. How can we trust Annie Kelly when he has already abandoned the people of North Tipperary? Jamie Morris lives in the real world. Jamie is a postman, Jamie is a family man, Jamie is a Tipperary man. And I want you to vote for him. I want you to give him your number one vote. Because Jamie will champion the Premier County, will take on all of the challenges that are necessary to build the Republic. Sinn Féin believe in public health services. I, as a candidate running for, for Sinn Féin in Tipperary, will not abandon the people of Tipperary. How can we trust Annie Kelly when he has already abandoned the people of North Tipperary?